So over here, you can see that I have a text in the text box right here. So if you want to work around with text line spacing or if you want to work around with list, then what you can do is you can go around over here and select out the text that you want to adjust the line spacing for. So once you do that, you can go around over here on the top where you see the line and paragraph spacing as an option. So right now it's single. That means um, right after the line ends, another line set up. But if you were to go around into 1.15, then it adds one fourth of the length of the text over here as spacing, as you can see right here. And it only affects out the text that you have selected right here. If I were to go around over here and select 1.5, then it adds in 0.5 that is half space for the text right there. So similarly, you can go around over here to double right here as well. So you have one line of gapping after each of the line as well. You can go around over here, add in space before the paragraph and space after the paragraph as well as you can see if you want to. And you can also go around into custom spacing. So let's say you want about 1.7 align spacing right here. And before the paragraph, you want 20 points of spacing. And after uh, the paragraph uses one three points of spacing, you can press apply and those spacing gets applied as you can see right there. So that is how you can work around with line spacing. Another thing that you can do here with text is you can work around with list. So I'm going to press one, two and three right here. I'm just going to type that in. So one, two and three. This can be any word. So once you select this and if you were to click on the bullet list, what happens is that it turns into bullets. You can go around, select out different bullet list as you can see over here as well. And if I were to go around and press tab, you can see that it becomes a sub list and you can go around over here and choose another bullet list just like this as well. So just like this, you can turn around the bullet list. And if you want to change this into a numbered list, you can click on this. So I'm just going to select all of these, click on this uh, a numbered list right here and it's one, two. And the good thing about this is if I were to press enter the numbers, they actually appear uh, automatically. You can also go around over here and choose different types for the numbered list over here as well. So if I were to go around, press tab, you can see that this is what you have. Press uh, tab from uh, the beginning and you can see that it becomes a sub list automatically right there. So if you were to go around over here, there's increase and decrease indent over here as well. And there's also clear formatting as an option. So if I were to bull this out, uh, add in a color right here. So let me just go around and add in something like this. And if you were to click on clear formatting, it becomes a normal text. So if I were to click on the clear formatting, you can see that it reverts back to the default font size and text as well. So if I were to go around over here on to uh, the uh, decrease indent. So right now, if I were to go to increase indent, you can see that I can indent out the paragraph over here on the light, right? Or just like this, you can indent this out as well. But if you want to decrease it out, you can click on this button right here, as you can see. And that is how you can work around with text line spacing and list option inside of Google Drawings. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.